I want you to listen to me very, very carefully because we are all in grave danger. A dire warning for every man, woman, and child, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. I have studied the 20th century, and I've studied tyrannies that came before it. And the exact pattern followed in Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, Communist China, the list goes on and on. The exact pattern that was followed in those nations is now being established here. Do you think in Nazi Germany, in the first six, seven years of the Nazis, that it was in the news that oppressive bad things were happening or that people were disappearing? No. Do you think from the time that Lenin was in power and decades later Joseph Stalin, do you think it was in the Russian news that the government was being oppressive and sending people to gulags and taking their children for minor offenses? No. The state-controlled and state-run media was promoting it as a good thing. Now we've talked a lot about how millions of veterans are getting letters saying you have to turn your firearms in. No judge, no jury, no psychological evaluation, no nothing, turn your guns in. Others are being raided without warrants, their guns are being confiscated, they're being put in psychiatric facilities and are being billed for it and then being told you won't be released unless you sign papers agreeing that you're mentally ill. I've interviewed them, you've seen it in your local news, it is a purge that's happening. The hospital, my, my primary care physician called to have a wellness check uh, uh, placed on me and the local police perform a wellness check. Well, the local police came up and there was nothing wrong with me. I had no, um, you know, there was no anxiety. I wasn't uh, combative. Uh, I basically, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't with anybody, so I had no witnesses. And they didn't have a warrant. And they, uh, in, with, through intimidation, forcefully uh, commandeered my vehicle and entered my home, searched and seized my weapons, and um, then, you know, carted me away in an ambulance to uh, a, a psychiatric evaluation, which I was held for 72 hours. And Homeland Security says veterans, returning veterans are the number one terror threat, when statistically they have one of the lowest crime rates. This is a group being demonized. You've seen where Illinois has tried to put people in jail for life for filming or taping police in public, something completely protected under the First Amendment. 75 years behind bars. A prison sentence that long is rarely handed down, and it's usually just for murderers or rapists. But a local man faces 75 years in prison for a nonviolent crime. What he's accused of doing is something many people have done, but most don't realize it's actually illegal. It's a felony if you're taping you guys are public. and recording. A dozen states are using eavesdropping and wiretapping laws to arrest people who record audio of law enforcement without their permission. I'm not shutting it off. Officer, are well, you going to jail? And now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a new case where a family reportedly went to a anti-government rally and so the police raided them over it and found marijuana. And so, because they allegedly had marijuana with their children, their children were taken by the government. Now, the family got their children back at gunpoint, allegedly, and have fled. And the CNN headline doesn't even say it's the parents. They just say that anti-government people have taken children from a home and there's a Amber Alert. These signs are up right now. An Amber Alert has been issued by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Police believe Chase and Cole Haken are with their parents, Joshua and Sharon Haken, who police are calling armed and dangerous. Then they talked to the neighbors uh, in the local newspaper there in Florida, and they said they were such a nice family, such sweet people. We don't know what happened to them. Well, they have the normal mammal instinct to protect their children. The boys were taken from their grandmother's house in Lake Magdalene. That is in Hillsborough County. According to investigators, the couple lost custody of the two boys after an anti-government rally in Louisiana. Right now, this family is, quote, on the run 
But there's a, another chapter to all of this. They are waiting for a judge to sign off on a search warrant uh, before going inside. Once they do, and hopefully soon, they're going to be finding some clues, they hope, about where Haken and, more importantly, his children, where they might be. The local newscasts go and show an Infowars.com bumper sticker when they talk about anti-government to, to try to associate people that realize we have an occupational government with collaborators running it of foreign banks that have taken over. Trying to associate those of us that are real Americans and are aware of what's happening with terrorism or kidnapping children, anti-government people, steal kids, kidnap kids out of home, don't say it's their parents. By the way, these parents are both engineers with no criminal records in an upper middle class area. Police across the state searching for two young boys. Officials issued an Amber Alert yesterday. They believe the children were kidnapped by their own father. The police were targeting people that went to a Tea Party rally, this is all on record, and supposedly found them a marijuana. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to take your children. Think of the ultimate crime of that from good families over marijuana. We're also learning some new details about the family. The father, Joshua Haken, was arrested a year ago in Louisiana on drug charges. Amber Alert search continues for two boys abducted from grandmother's home by anti-government parents. And the headline shouldn't be anti-government people grab kids out of home. It should be authoritarian government kidnaps children over petty pot charge and parents fight back. This is how they're going to disappear everybody from marijuana or being anti-government or filming police in public. This is how tyrannies work. In the first phases, they just start arresting people and throwing the book at them because they love liberty. Later then, they start arresting people in mass, but only after they have their national ID cards and their cashless society. And that's what's now going into place. Homeland Security is the foreign Army. It is the fifth branch of the U.S. military under foreign globalist control, openly saying veterans, conservatives, libertarians, gun owners, Tea Party people in the fetters are terrorists. Well, you know what? We're not terrorists. The globalists are the ones funding Al-Qaeda worldwide in Libya and Syria. They're the ones using Al-Qaeda to menace us to then set up a police state and take our rights. And they're now claiming, don't worry about Al-Qaeda, worry about the American people. You're seeing an authoritarian criminal takeover. They're going to push us and push us and push us until we stand up against them. And then they're going to call us terrorists. And then they're going to blow up federal buildings and say, we did it, to try to get the general public in a cowardly fashion to go along with it. And I want to tell the cowardly public something. Giving into this tyranny ensures they're going to take all your private pension funds, your public pension funds, and your bank accounts. That's now all being announced. And so go ahead and serve it. You're going to bring in our destruction. Your cowardice, your sheep-like behavior invited every wolf on the planet to come here to feed on the joke that America's turned into. I want America to pull up, to stop trusting government, and to get in the face of these bureaucrats, and to take action against them politically before it turns into a physical shooting war. And if you don't like that, you're not an American, because that's what this country was founded on. Now back to InfoWars Nightly News.